Lots of us use Airtable for many different operational purposes. We're building inventory management systems and project management systems and CRMs. But what do you do about the use cases where you want to make an FAQ page or you want to have an About Us page and you have that employee data stored inside of Airtable? Well, many people would suggest a tool like Softer, which acts as a front end to Airtable on the back end, and you can build your own websites, applications, customer portals. But for these little cases like an About page where all you really want is just a web component, this can seem like overkill. You could, of course, share a view inside of Airtable. We could share that, make this public. We could embed this view into our website. But once we have this, we don't really get to choose how we style it. That's all left up to Airtable. Enter a new tool called Shareables, which essentially lets you create your own little web components to be able to share your Airtable data on your own websites. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. So to get started, you're going to want to create a personal access token for Airtable. To do this, you can click up on your avatar in the upper right-hand corner in Airtable and click on Builder Hub, and we can click on Create a New Token. We'll give this a name like Shareables, and we'll add some scopes. Now, I would think technically we would only need to read the data and the metadata of our records, but I had a couple of issues here, so I'd give it some additional permissions just in case. And then we'll want to give the access that we need. And I'm just going to give access to the one particular base I need it for. And we'll go ahead and create that token. Then we'll copy the token that we need. And now inside of Shareables, we're ready to go. So we've got three templates to choose from. The creator of this mentions that he'll be creating additional templates as he hears from customers. But we have these options of an accordion, which I think would be great for an FAQ on a landing page. We have a list template and we have a card template. So I'm going to choose a card for this example. We'll be able to see roughly what this looks like and click on use this template. Now here's where we can paste our personal access token. And then from here, we can choose the base. For my table, I'm going to choose people. And then I'll select a view and we'll choose our gallery view that we've already set up. Go ahead and connect. And you can see right off the bat, we've got some basic styling. This looks to be different cards that we have. We've got some options that we can populate on the page. So for our heading, if I click on this, we can choose an Airtable field. And this makes sense that because we want to display our team on an about page that we would choose the names. Now, the part I really like here is that this updates all of that data in near real time. We don't have to wait until we actually publish this to see what it's going to look like. Next, we'll map our image, which we can choose. And we've got a photo. We've got our text, and this is where we can choose from our bio of those individual people. And finally, for our tags, we can click this, and I just have a single select, but this would work for multi-select as well. I'm going to choose the role. Now, here's what I think makes this really unique. We've got some different styling that we can add here. So I don't really like the way that our bio bumps into the different tags. So I'm going to see in my field styles if I can do something to change this. It looks like we've got a spacing top and spacing bottom. So here for spacing bottom, I'm going to choose to put in some medium spacing. And there we go. That might be a little bit large. So let's change it to small. And now it's a little bit more balanced how we want this to appear. I'm going to do the same to the top, put in a little bit of space. Maybe we want to take some emphasis off of our text. So instead of black, maybe we want to go a little bit lighter gray. So it's not as in your face. Let's check out and see what we can do with our photos. We can have full width. I like the look of that, but let's see what this would look like if we went small. We wouldn't have to go the full width of that. The height, we could try to do full as well. This would consume everything, so I don't like this look for what we're doing, but that's certainly an option. For our heading, maybe we want to make this a little bit larger with the name so we can change our text size, and maybe we want to center this instead of left align. And we could update our header if we want to. So here's where we could change the actual text at the top. Maybe I want to actually remove the subtitle. I can do that. And for the styles, we could add a little bit of spacing here. And you can see how this essentially gives us the options that we need to be able to design this our way as opposed to be reliant on what Airtable gives us out of the box. Now, if you're trying the free plan for the first time, you're going to notice some restrictions. One is that we can actually only have one of these shareables active. We can't have multiple that we publish. So that's going to try to push you pretty quickly into a paid plan. The other thing here is the ability to have custom fields that requires upgrading as well. So if you want to have additional fields that weren't any of these main four, maybe you want to have some additional tag that's present here at the bottom. 
then you'd need to be able to upgrade. So that's an overview of what we can do with the content. Now we also have the option to change the high level styling. So we worked on the stylings at the individual field level, but we might want to change stylings more for the page holistically. That's where we can come into styles and maybe we'd want to say instead of three columns, we want to have four columns. And maybe we want to change the custom width of the page as well. Under actions, we have a couple options as well. One is what we're actually going to do if we try to click one of those items. And then we can also add buttons to items if we don't want it to be on the overall click of that diff. So really we don't have too many actions here. This isn't a full baked automation system. This is really just to say that we can now open up a URL. So this could be something coming from the Airtable record. Now this is a little bit different. We're not creating a whole destination page. If I click on Andre Williams and I choose open URL from an Airtable record, it doesn't now give us a different widget that we're actually pulling from. Instead, this is if we had some sort of external URL. So maybe we have a product landing page and we want to take from this grid and click and open up that URL. We could do that or we could do a custom one and just have it be the same for any of these link clicks that we have on the page. And if you prefer, you could add a button to the page. So here we've got the same options, but you could have it open a custom URL and here's a new button. And again, we could change the stylings. Maybe we want to adjust the color on this so that it fits in a little bit more with what we're doing. For the data, we only have the option to connect to Airtable. It might be a future feature where they'd be able to connect to other data sources in the future. But right now we're not doing anything super creative. We're just connecting to Airtable. My button looks a little bit silly here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off that button. Now, when this looks the way that you want, we can publish that shareable. So we come up to the top, publish it. Now at this point, it's been published and we get our code. And so we can copy this and inject it into whatever we want. It could be WordPress, whatever you're building your main website on. You might have some internal dashboard you want to inject this, lots of different options. So overall, I do think that shareables fills a space that's currently developing as we start to see the different no-code portal type tools go a little bit more up market in terms of what they're approaching. And for these simple kind of use cases, it's really nice if you can just take a web component, basically, some of these additional components, be able to configure them, style them the way you want, and be able to embed it in a page. Now, personally, I'm really looking forward to some of these templates that don't feel like Airtable things today. So for example, we use the card template, but that feels like the gallery that we have inside of Airtable. I'm eager to see what additional designs roll out that we can tap into. In terms of the pricing, $19 a month feels pretty accessible for most companies, which is that really nice sweet spot before you get into a full-blown portal or app builder tool. However, I would say on the free plan, only having access to one shareable, even as I'm testing this out, feels a little bit limiting, but I can understand being a solo creator. You got to do what you got to do to get people to test your tool and then be able to develop a revenue model around it. So that makes sense, but I'm really excited for some of those additional templates in the future. I'd also really like to see custom CSS so that if I don't have all of the style options that I need, I can make the changes without having to resort to yet another option. If you have any questions about your own automation setup, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.